Hi, I'm Trudy and I'm one of the team members at IQ Bar and also one of the vloggers. This week's vlog is all about how to write a great introduction and how to make a great video. My first bit of advice would be look back over your CV. There were loads of things I'd forgotten about and it's great to remind yourself of all the skills and experience that you have. Make a plan. Think about the order that you want to talk about your introduction. I decided for me that the best order for me to talk about myself would be starting with my qualifications. I talked about my degrees and about being a teacher. It's good to start with something really good to get the people's attention. You want to showcase all the things you can do. I then spoke about my past experience. I talked about schools I'd worked in, placed in the education sector, but also roles that are relevant or show that I have transferable skills that'd be great for this job. Why are you wanting to teach online? Make it personal. This is the time for them to get to know a little bit about you. So for example, for myself, I mentioned that I was traveling and that working online was a great way, as a teacher, I could still teach, but enjoy my travels. Why you? Think about why they should pick you. To think about your skills, what are you good at, and what makes you a good teacher. Tell them. Availability. Remember to tell them if you're available. People will definitely be looking for regular buddies. Even if you're traveling like myself, it's important to mention how much time you'll have. I made a point of saying that I make my own schedule and that I have lots of availability. It will definitely make you look more appealing. Remember to make it about you. You're trying to sell yourself and this is your chance to show what you're like and what you could be like as a teacher. When writing your introduction, remember to make sure that it's fairly formal. It's important here that you appeal to the British parents, so it needs to get your point across in a concise, clear way. Try not to make it too long. Aim for around 500 words. That'll be enough to give an overview of you and talk about your qualifications and your experiences. Remember to proofread. It's important that you've checked over and read through what you've written. If you're anything like me, you'll read it a hundred times and you'll still miss that same error. So get a friend who you know will be honest to read through and check your work for you. Don't underplay your skills. It's not being big headed. It's just putting everything that you've achieved, you've worked hard for and you're capable of on a plate for them to see what you can offer. Try to use paragraphs. This will make it much clearer to read and break it up so it's easier for them to digest. If you want to see an example of a good instruction, you can see mine on our Padlet. Okay, so we've got the introduction out of the way. Now it's time for the video. For me, I found the introduction much easier. I could write it, I could proofread it, I could go back and change it, whereas the video was the main focus with me. Don't panic, there's a few things you can do that help. Whereas your written introduction will be quite formal, the video is a chance for you to be much more informal. It's a time for your personality to really shine through. The first thing to consider is your background. You want to appeal to your Breddy and to your Breddy's parents. You want to make your background look really attractive. Remember to speak slowly and clearly. It's very important that you pronounce your words accurately. How you speak in the video could determine if you get a booking. So what do you talk about? So, you've written your introduction. Use that as your base. You can talk about what makes you different. Mention if you've traveled or if you have a skill. Perhaps you can do sign language or you're a keen netballer. Talk about it. This is much less formal and a chance for you to really talk about you and for them to get to know you. Before you get started with your video, there's some important things that may seem obvious but that you'll need to consider. Number one, remember to have a tidy background. Make sure that your washing's not hanging out behind you Otherwise, this will be a representation of you and your teaching style. If your background is disorganised and cluttered, that's what they will think about your teaching style. Number two, think about your choice of clothes. Kind of think about it as an interview. Think about what you'd wear to that. IQ Bar do have a dress code, so it's important that you don't wear hoodies, pyjamas, vests, low cut tops, or tops that reveal your shoulders. Just make sure that you look smart and presentable. Number three, your hair. If you've got none, great, it's one less thing to worry about. But if you have, make sure that's presentable too. Again, imagine it's an interview. You wouldn't rock up to an interview with bed hair, so don't do it for your video. Number four, lighting. Pick a good time of the day when the lighting's really good 
and make sure there's not too much bright light behind you and that your face can be seen clearly. Number five, noise. It's important, it's really quiet. So make sure if you live in a busy environment that you close the windows and warn the people in your house that you're making a video. You don't want them talking in the background while you're trying to do your filming. Number six, a stable surface. It's really important that when you're doing your filming that you're teaching from a steady surface. And equally, when you start teaching with iCuba, you'll need something steady too. Number seven, the most important one, smile. Prepare for some face ache. What do you talk about in the video? Here's some ideas. You can talk about you. Talk about your interests. What qualifications do you hold? Why are you teaching online? What's your availability? What can you offer them? Why should they book you? Talk about your skills and your best qualities. Mention your teaching style. What are you like in the class? And what's your approach to behaviour management? End your video on a positive note so they feel like they want you to teach their child or to teach them. Try to stand out from the crowd, but remember to be yourself. Remember, this video only needs to be short, so try to make it around three minutes long. Editing. You don't have to be a tech star to edit your video. There are loads of really simple editing apps that you can download to get rid of those accidental slips or that moment where you just couldn't say the right thing. Don't spend ages on editing. It's not a necessity. If you're skilled and confident in editing, great. Use the tools you have. It looks great if you can add some text or images. So remember, overall, what you write for your introduction and what you say in your video won't be too dissimilar. So don't worry yourself thinking you've got loads to do. Remember to use your written introduction as a skeleton for your notes for your video. That's all for this week's vlog. Remember, if you still have any questions or concerns, you can contact a member of the team. You can contact them through our social media sites or even use our WeChat groups. I really hope this has helped and I wish you the best for your video and your written introduction. Good luck and bye.